What is packing with you, YouTube? This your man, King Howie, back with another video. And before I start off this video, I want to send a shout out to President's TV. It's all love, man. Uh, let's get into this shit. Antonio Brown, back in the news again. If you're not caught up on Antonio Brown now, let's just go through this shit. <laughs> Got traded to the Raiders for a first round pick. And I think a couple other picks from the Pittsburgh Steelers had a big press conference with the Raiders met up with trash ass Derek Carr um, trying to, you know, put together this whole let's go out there and win type of friendship with the with the Raiders and it, it backfired got into a Mike Mayock, you know, wasn't showing up to practice tore his feet up Um and some cryogenic freezer type thing to heal his body up. Uh, <laughs> said some said some things to the to the GM that shouldn't have been said. Got cut by the Raiders. Got picked up by the Patriots. Um, then once he got picked up by the Patriots, news started coming out where this young lady that uh, I forget her name, Antonio Brown, used to mess with in college. You know comes up out of nowhere saying that Antonio Brown did some illicit things to her in the past and uh, she was trying to get $2 million off of him. The NFL started going into this whole investigation about what what, what kind of off the field issues that Antonio Brown was having at that time. The Patriots let him go. He got into a dispute with Robert Kraft because Robert Kraft didn't pay him so he still going through that whole situation with the Patriots are trying to get his money back the commissioner you know other teams is you know the Saints tried to pick him up couldn't do that because they trying to see how long it the NFL investigation is going to be but with all that going on Antonio Brown just kept on doing unnecessary things that I think will hurt his career I don't think he's going to come back to the NFL you know he's out here trying to get into some boxing match with a YouTuber. Um, he's doing music videos. He called out Robert Kraft. He's getting into it with Stephen A. Smith. Got into it with Juju Smith-Schuster and Ben Roethlisberger. And he got had a small dispute with uh, Le'Veon Bell. Over <laughs> just a lot of things Antonio Brown, you know, is doing, man. I don't know if this is from the Vontez Burfick hit in the game where he suffered a concussion or if this is, you know, things still stemming from the locker room incident when he went live on Facebook in the, in the Pittsburgh still locker room clowning around. <clears throat> and now Antonio Brown is uh, in the news again for uh, some kind of battery being a suspect to a battery. Um, I, I believe uh, his trainer beat up his driver and the police are trying to get an arrest warrant to talk to parties involved. I think they talked to the, the, the guy that got hurt. I think they talked to the driver already. But Antonio Brown is in a house, locked in his house. He's not cooperating with the police. <clears throat> um, I think he's trying to look out for his trainer. There might have been some kind of dispute or some type of uh, argument that went down. <laughs> and things got a little out of hand. And who knows, Antonio Brown probably um, pushed the shit to go further than what it was supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? Who knows how involved Antonio Brown is in this case or what he has done. So we're waiting, we're waiting on all this news to come out. I just I just hope Antonio Brown gets through what he's get, what he's going through mentally i think that's where it starts first is mentally um you know this guy was one of the most prolific wide receivers in the nfl you know i don't get it him and odell beckham it just seemed like they trying to outdo each other right now <laughs> you know odell beckham and the whole lsu incident slapping a cop on the ass um wearing a million dollar watch wearing the wrong shoes a visor you know he bringing cliques out there to tom brady um getting into it with Freddie Kitchens on the sideline. Um, I, I, I just don't understand these guys. These guys make millions of dollars and they get out here 
They get they get paid millions of dollars to play a game once a week. A game. They only gotta play this game 16 times in a in a in a, in a year. And this is how you do your money? This is how you act? This is what you do to your legacy? Your career? Your future? I don't see Antonio Brown being voted into the Hall of Fame after all of the things that he has done. I mean, you out here ejaculating on chicks' backs and just, you know, farting in a doctor's face and laughing about it. Just a lot of silly shit. You know what I mean? Just a lot of unnecessary silly shit. I don't understand it. But all I can say is, man, Antonio Brown, I hope you get your shit together, man. Um, it's just, it's just now at this point, man, it's just getting sad, man. You know, at first it was amusing, you know, um, like, whoa, <laughs> Antonio Brown is out there. You know, some people might've, might've took what you were doing. It's kind of funny, you know what I mean? But right now, man, this ain't, this ain't funny, dude. I mean, I don't know if the NFL is even going to even want to deal with you no more. Like you really going to have to sit out the league for like two years and that might be too long. But, you know, they let guys like Josh Gordon mess up and come back, mess up and come back. So who knows what the NFL is going to do for you? Who knows? Who, know, who knows what kind of doors they might open for you? Because, I mean, even if a team pick you up, you're still on a commissioner's exempt list. So there's, there's always going to be that. You know what I mean? And even if the commissioner lifts the exemption, you're still going to be suspended. So you pretty much not helping no team team out right now. And then all you're really doing is just adding on to the suspension as you go. You know, um, I think the NFL is doing their due diligence on sitting back and letting Antonio Brown shoot himself in, his, himself in the foot. Um, I'm pretty sure no owner or all owners have been advised to, they've probably been advised to blackball Antonio Brown. I mean, the Saints tried to take a crack at him, and um, that didn't turn out too well. He didn't get called up for it. He had, he got a chance to go work out, and then he shit on the Saints right after he did that. So you don't know what you're going to get from Antonio Brown, man. And I think that, I think that's where uh, a lot of teams are skeptical on bringing him in. Got talented receiver, prolific receiver. Has some historic numbers, but the actions and his attitude and the way he's carrying himself, you know, you're getting into it with Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp on social media. you calling out people. <laughs> you're filming incidents on your phone with you and the police and your baby mama and your kids. You know, you in a nice neighborhood and you got the neighbors coming out talking about they don't want their kids around that kind of stuff, man. You, I don't know what to say about Antonio Brown, man, but this is just sad. It's just freaking sad. I don't know what to say about this dude, man. Hell of a receiver, hell of a talent, hell, hell of a talent out there on the field. I mean, hard to stop, you know what I'm saying? Great catcher of the football, but I don't know what to say about him now. You know, I just... Get yourself together, Antonio Brown. That's all I can say, man. Just get your shit together, bro, because this is just ridiculous.